Okay, I'm forward now. Andy is back and he's badder than ever. Woo! Andrew, welcome back to Still Friends, my friend. All right, so listen. You guys, this has been such a wonderful night and we are doing amazing things up here. I've already talked with you and shared with you what all of this goodness that we're doing right now, all we're doing is just putting more goodness out into the world. We are raising money right now for scholarships for kids right here in Charlotte County. I know, what? I, it's, good, it's good stuff, it's good stuff. And so what I wanna do for you now is, is that I wanna talk with you and I wanna share some things with you because earlier, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the pictures of, of Tina McCain, okay. Oh, I got a breaking announcement. If you want to buy 50-50 tickets, raise my hand. Go see Connie. She's got a white flower. There is almost, I think we've almost got $170 in there or something. Go get half of that money. You go on. Go get your ticket. Okay, so I shared with you earlier that we were doing this Seed Fest in honor of Tina McCain. And what I'd like to share with you now is... I would like, and I hope you guys, have you guys been enjoying her photographs? Was she not just the prettiest thing? I know, and she had such a good eye. She had such a good eye. Oh, that's Tina. So what I would like to share with you now is I would like to share with you things that, that Tina McCain and Steve Blackwell had in common. All right, so I'm gonna put this together for you right now. <laughs> This is the list that we have come up with for this. The first thing that Steve Blackwell and Tina McCain had in common was, number one, everything, everything felt better when they were there, everything. It felt better when Tina was around, it felt better when Steve Blackwell was around. People were just automatically drawn to their light because they both, they both had a light that shone so brightly. Another way that Steve Blackwell and Tina McCain were alike was the Emily. music. Now, Tina McCain and Steve Blackwell came at music in different ways. Steve, as many of you know, is the longtime singer-songwriter. But I gotta tell you something. He was like Tina McCain in this way. They both appreciated great music. They really, really did, and they were both drawn to the great music. And you would go to a show, and I promise you, Tina McCain's face would be right there in the front row. Right there, looking at you, smiling at you. She brought good music. She, she, she actively would seek it out. So that's another way that they were like. Music fed their souls. One more way that they were alike is, and I'm, I'm not just saying this, but one more way that they were alike is that they were both a great judge of character. When you were friends, I see, and I'm not, I feel like bad like I'm saying this because Steve was my dad and, 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 and he was my friend and Tina McPain was one of my best friends, but they could pick friends really, really well. They did a good job, they did a good job. And if you were friends with Tina McCain or Steve Blackwell, you were friends for life. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a really good sense of, of, of judgment and of character about people. All right? I know. Oh, look at her. Yeah, look at Tracy. Another thing that Steve Blackwell and Tina McCain could do, and you guys will see this, they could both rock a hat like nobody's business. They were so good at rocking those hats, yes. And one more thing that I want to share with you is, is that they both, they both lived life like they knew its secret. They both flirted with life. Tina McCain and Steve Blackwell understood more than anyone else I know that this, this right now, this is the right now, right here dance. This is what we're doing, this is what it's all about. Yeah. And so it is my honor and it is my pleasure to introduce to you right now a man who, we are so lucky to have this man right here in Punta Gorda. He is a man who has, has been a singer-songwriter for years. He has traveled, he travels around the country. He's what this is all about. He travels around the country. This is how he makes his music, this is how he makes his living. This is what he does. 
Tina McCain was such a fan of Michael Culture. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And not only was she a fan of Michael Culture, they shared in so many, they shared so many things. They shared traveling together. They would go to shows together. Tell you ride bluegrass, am I right? Yeah. yeah. Crush. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little crush there. You should have kissed her on New Year's Eve. You blew that, my friend. You blew it. <laughs> and I am so proud to call him my friend, my friend. And it is, <laughs> I know, I know, the crush thing. It is, oh, are we ready to do that now? Okay. Michael, before I introduce you, I think I have to do the 50-50 right now. Here comes Eli. Eli, you got it? Run, buddy. Hold that thought about Michael Tolster, y'all. Somebody's about to be really happy. In yeah, here, huh? I, I'm telling you. Somebody's getting ready to get some cash now. All right, get out your tickets, y'all. Oh, any of my children can find me. Okay, you guys ready? I'm going to do this right now. Four, eight, nine. I got it. <laughs> zero, eight, zero. Who's my winner? Four eight nine zero eight zero. Woohoo! Yay! Come see Eli! Yay! Yay for you! Come and Yay! She will be funding the after party. Yes, you, she will. Uh, follow us. All right. Thank you. Yes. All right. So it is my pleasure. It is my honor to introduce to you a man. This, I think, well, okay, you're my first rock star friend. <laughs> I got me a rock star friend up here. It is my pleasure and it is my honor to introduce to you Michael Tolcher. Sometimes I just got to get away.
when I usually make it policy to not play after a band that absolutely kills it, like normally, normally I just get in my car and go away. But since it's such a special event, I decided, okay, even though this band belongs in stadiums and giant festivals, I'm still gonna come play. So, all this is dedicated to Tina, really. So, uh, this is called this one. I only know one life. Pretty much going to be reminding me of her because we had such similar spirits. Um, <laughs> 